Hello my fellow hunters, this video is an addition to this video. In this video I talk about the best possible thunder switch axe and how is the best playstyle for elemental thunder switch axes. So be first, before you watch this video, please watch this video before to understand the morph. It's called the best thunder switch axe port iron skier thunder vs demon lord edge. And in this old video, I give a short explanation what I've talked in the old video. I said it's better for if you have element file, it's better to console the ZSD because the damage output is even better when finishing a ZSD. And this also, this complete video was about consoling ZSD and I and here have you the boss and you can see all in all the gear switch X is always better if you're cancelling the ZSD only when the hit zone value is more than 78. Uh, but in the next video, uh, I say in this video, I want to talk about the full zero sum discharge. So I calculated the complete ZSD, including the finisher. I have said that the CSD finisher has an extreme high raw damage out output. So it's very important to include the Daemon Lord Edge, which has a power file in this calculation. You can see I've changed the Y axis um, name. I have written full SSD, including the finisher. And the elemental headstone values are the same. So you can see the purple line is from the Demon Lord Edge. So you can see when the headstone value is higher than 40. It's also... Um, the damage output goes even higher than when you're consoling a ZSD. I show it you in another way here. So I have made a conclusion, you can see the pause. I have written you can play a full zero sum discharge with a finisher with the Ryang switch X when for two ways. For instance, we have a monster with elemental hit zone value with 20. For instance, T-Rex or Kirin. If you play this monster with the Demon Lord Edge, the raw hit zone value must be higher than 40. And I think all the ways up, the average hit zone value of a monster is, for, is between 40 and 60. So I think you can use the Demon Lord Edge, but you have to play a full ZSD. And when the elemental hit zone value is 25, your raw hit zone value must be higher than 53, which is here. That means you have to tenderize pots if the monster has a higher he elemental hit zone value. So all in all I can say, if the hit zone value for the element is higher than 25, it's better to use the cure switch X. All in all, um, you have to... Uh, that's all just theory crafting. I didn't have included that when you console a ZSD, you have more time to start a new one. The thing is, if you play a full ZSD with the finisher, you lose time to start the next. That means um, during the finisher, and you have consulted with an elemental switch X, you ha also have start a second one when you have a power file, or also in the first one during the finisher. That was a bad <laughs> explanation, but sorry for my bad English, but I can't explain it better. So what I want to say is, when you cancel the ZSD, you can do more combos. Uh, so I have to maybe make a third video and have to include the time, how long it takes to play a full ZSD or cancel the ZSD. These values are only for better understanding. You can maybe do a run with both switch axes. You can choose the Demon Lord Edge to play full ZSDs, which I explained is better. Or you can play the Kiosk switch X and do an early release. That is a simple explanation of how is the best playstyle for using a Thunder switch X. But I'm gonna maybe make a third video and input the time it takes to make a full ZSD or constant ZSD. So, see you next time when I talk about more damage output.